I usually uh, hope that 95% of the people that uh, come into the store know at least as much as I do about the thing it is that they tend to purchase, the, the things they're looking for. But uh, the mall situation is always you know, different. The uh, people that come to the shop usually know somebody that collects. And they don't have that information. Uh, with the internet, you know, people research, they, they find the item they're looking for, but uh, you know, they don't get a chance to come in and actually take a look at it. They don't invest the time to look at it, because when they order that item online, it comes out it's 50% smaller than they thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> coming from Korea, yeah. <laughs> or, or China, rather than, you know, where they thought it was coming from. Um, we even had a situation where I uh, purchased some uh, DVDs online that uh, came from the Huang province in China, but the uh, packaging was perfect because I'm sure that was the company that manufactured them for the actual retailer. That's the, the disc quality was just a little bit lower. And uh, you know, nowadays it's, uh, it's great that uh, with the internet and the resources that are available, that people can actually find you know, what they need. Uh, it, it's, it would be better to actually invest the other time that other people need, the retailers, <laughs> rather than the conglomerates. Uh, so that they can go ahead and uh, yeah, fulfill that, that, that promise that everybody has for, for continuation and you know, continued success in the business place. So, um, there, there's a big difference uh, in our industry compared to some also for the, uh, the collecting aspect versus the you know, just enjoyment aspect. There's some people that do both, which uh, is kind of a strange uh, because uh, for some people, enjoyment means looking at the package, opening up the price guide, and seeing that it's gone up five dollars. <laughs> and enjoyment for everybody else would be picking it up, playing it, you know, throwing it at your sister. <laughs> um, that uh, there, there are um, some business interests that are interested in the uh, you know, continuation of the small. Uh, you know, uh, this is man because uh, DC Direct, for instance, they make figures that are only for small market only. They don't sell to some of the larger companies. Uh, they're invested in us because we also sell the comments, we sell the other things that they can do. So they uh, make products you know, for that limited market. So uh, it's, it's nice to see that there are some companies that are taking care of themselves and others at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> you can count on a company to do what's in their best interest, and if it's in your best interest, then it's there. Yeah, that's great. So, um, it's uh, holiday season is also uh, uh, something to keep in mind for all those uh, people who want to open up a business on their own. Uh, if you take a look and show you numbers about how great, how much money people are making, take a look at the other side of it too and realize how many employee hours are forcing you to work. Uh, the week before Christmas, we're going to be working from 8 to 11. Monday through Friday is 5 15 days. <laughs> so, it's, uh, it goes both ways. I mean, they can show you great uh, financial return, but not tell you how much it's going to cost you to get there. So.